Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time, back with his Wednesday guest, Anna Kelly. Hi, Anna. How are you? Hi, I'm great. Good to be here with you. One of the things I wanted to talk to you about is an idea I'm having, and right now it is plainly an idea. It's a rough outline at this point. But I'm trying to take how I've been educating, mentoring, helping others in the real estate game via Teachable, right? An online course. Yes. And what I see you doing amazing, I don't know if it's every 90 days or so with a small set of individuals. I want to see if we, if I can't create a blend of that. So this is my rough outline. So I want to take what you do with a focus group. I'm thinking perhaps a set of 10 people. And again, it's just all brainstorms. Set of 10 people. Uh, it still builds on the foundation of my how to get started one rental at a time, right? It's because it, what I teach is what I teach. But here's the wrinkle. I want to do it monthly. And what I'm thinking about, because again, I love the idea of my one-on-one -on -one mentoring what I do, but I can't do that at scale. Yes. So I'm thinking about every month, taking a set of 10 people, probably having three or maybe four two-hour Zoom meetings <coughs> where we break down my course. So like meeting one. Again, you, you have to buy the course. You have to do the buy box. We're going to review your buy box. We're going to yes. do it all together, right? 10 people at a time. Everybody talks and everybody listens because you never know when you'll pick something up from someone else. And then those 10 people like their own little accountability group. Yes. And then like 10 days later or a week later, we have another call. Okay, great. You've been looking at your market for 20 days. What does your spreadsheet look like? And if you take my course, you'll know what all this means. And then, you know, two weeks later, we're like, okay, what is average? What is your network like? What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? And then the fourth week is like a graduation, any last minute questions. And then we just kind of repeat that once a month. So that's a lot. I've just thrown at you. I'm trying to take what you do with what I do and see if there's a happy median. What do you, what do you think? What kind of questions do you have? Yes. No, I, I think that's really smart. And I'll tell you, I've kind of gone through this progression as well, right? So I started off with an, an apartment investing course. Um, and I basically did it in 12 weeks. So we met every single week for hours and I taught through each of the modules and then opened it up to Q&A. Mm -hmm. The challenge with that, Michael, was that every 12 weeks I was starting a new course, right? And right. so a, a new group. And so after, if somebody wanted to come in on week four or week eight or week 10, I'm like, sorry, I can't help you for three months, right? right. Unless you want to coach with me one-on-one, -on -one, which is significantly more expensive because exactly. it's yeah. a lot of my time, right? Yeah. So what I did is I basically created a hybrid perpetual course that you could come in at any time. Mm -hmm. And I opened myself up twice per month to calls, basically group Q&A calls, very similar to what you're talking about where wherever you are during that course, you can watch your modules, you can do your work, but you come to me and you can ask me anything. Mm -hmm. And so I'm not teaching during those sessions. I'm just allowing you to come in and ask questions. And for those that are way ahead, they may ask questions that are ahead. And for those that are further behind, they're further behind, but that's okay because they kind of learn from each other. I really like that so far because I don't have to keep up with a whole bunch of different groups of when do they start, when do they right. stop? And they can come in at any time. Some people are very much audio visual learners, but they're afraid to ask questions. They don't want the group and they don't want the community. They'll just mostly listen. Mm -hmm. And other people, they'll read stuff and then they'll come in and ask questions. And I'm fine with that. But what I had to do was kind of create it to where it works for me. Right. And I don't have so many different meetings on my calendar to help all the same people through the same process. So I kind of do a hybrid of what you're talking about where I have a course, but you can join at any time and wherever you are, I'm available twice a month, come in with your questions. And then I have a separate mastermind that aren't people who bought my apartment course. So for example, Michael, there might be people that are pretty new and they've bought your one rental at a time and they're going through the process. But then you've got other people that have already been investing for a while and they realize the knowledge and wealth of information that you are. We talked about in video one, we need to surround ourselves with other people that have been doing this longer and brainstorm and, and get through these things together. So I have kind of a higher level mastermind for people that have already been investing and it's not specific to apartments like my, like my course is. Um, and then that allows me to, you know, again, twice a month, we do big mastermind calls. I do teach for part of the um, 
series, part mm -hmm. of the evening. And then I open it up for questions on what I've taught or for hot seats, helping you with your own investing in whatever way. Um, and that's kind of the, for those that really want more interaction and community, don't need apartment specific investing course. And then I have one-on-one -on -one coaching, which is much more expensive, right. um, that's very customized. And I think you could do something very similar. Oh, and again, it's not a one size fits all. So you can do it however you want, but that's yeah. what worked for me. No, I, I like that. Cause again, I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to blend um, what I've seen you do so amazingly with what my foundation is, right? Cause again, I came at this from take everything I did, put it in a module, leave it alone. You know, now I'm having people like you add bonus sections, which is awesome. But I, I think I've added, I don't know, maybe three hours of content in the last year of myself, but I've had bonuses in like 10 hours and that kind of fits because I don't have to think about it. Right. And then I see what you're doing and I, I'm following and I'm like, wow, that's amazing. You get more direct one-on-one, -on -one, you get this group idea. So yeah, I, um, there's something there. there. There's, And you're right. I have to do it so it fits my world, right? Yeah. That, that's, that is a and very And that's the biggest thing. challenge. That's the biggest challenge as, as people who are coaching, who we are not gurus that make all our money coaching, right? Oh God, we Make no. our money on real estate. And when mm -hmm. you get to a certain point, your time is more valuable to you than extra money, right? Mm -hmm. I don't coach because I need extra money. I coach because I'm passionate about it. I want to help people mm -hmm. and I'm willing to invest a certain amount of time. Yes. The challenge with one-on-one -on -one coaching, and this is why a lot of like coaching gurus end up creating coaching programs where they hire a lot of coaches yeah. and then those coaches kind of help, they're like a step or two above you and they help you. And I'm not knocking that model, mm -hmm. but for me, because my time is so valuable and I've already created that financial freedom, I don't want to create a whole bunch of like this big system that's just a bunch of people coaching. Yeah. But I also cannot coach, and, and this was this was an aha moment for me. So I'll share it with you and live with all of you listeners as well. Was last year I, I coached 10 students at a time for six months. And yeah. I ended up having 12 because people would beg me, can you please, please, please? Well, that's 12 hours a week of my time. Right. And I basically am committed that I work, I basically work nine to three every day. My kids are home and I turn it off. Right. I can't do that when 12 hours of my 30 hour work week is helping other people. I wasn't progressing as much on my own purchases and my own stuff because I was spending so much time one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. So the reason, part of the reason that I created the mastermind, number one is because not everybody can afford to, to pay me monthly for two or three or four years at a time, right? But right. they want more of my interaction and I want to be able to continue that community and help them but I just don't have the bandwidth personally to take on more than 10. So I created the mastermind as a way for me to continue to teach, continue. And, and here's the thing. Most people are asking us the same kinds of questions, right? Yeah. So we're teaching a lot of the same foundational things, which you've done so amazingly with your one run a little time program. And then there's nuanced things for each individual. Right. So I created the mastermind one, so I can truly help more people because I don't want to just be limited to 10 or 12. You know, you wanted to impact 500 people to do their deal this year and you did that, right? Yes. So in order to impact more people, I created the mastermind where I can teach and have community and have hot seats. And this year I'm only taking five coaching students at a time, mm. five students in the six month period, but I charge more for it. Yeah, and sure. so I can still coach people, but I, I had to put limits on my time so that I'm continuing to grow as a person in all the areas that I need to. And you'll find that one-on-one -on -one coaching is really, really tough to do that. Um, so yeah. mastermind and a, and a course that's perpetual that allows people to come in that want that specific mm -hmm. has been a really good way for me to be able to kind of do both and pull back on the number of people I work with one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, more work to do. There's something here. I'm going to be adding something because again, I, I love the foundation I have is great. Thousands of people. I know it works. I get notes almost weekly now, which is awesome. I did do one-on-one -on -one consulting, but I only did a single 30 minute phone call. I only sold one 30 minute chunk. I didn't, didn't do uh, monthly stuff. Um, so yeah, I think there's something there. I think I'm going to give it a shot. And I think you're right though. The end goal needs to be to make it more perpetual. So thank you for that. Uh, on if somebody wanted to check out your coaching and follow you, how do you, how would they do that? Great. You can find me on social media, Anna Kelly, REI mom. Um, my website for coaching and consulting masterminds, et cetera, is reimom.com. 
And I look forward to watching you continue to grow and continue to, to give back because it's, it's so important. And, you know, one of the things that I learned as an investor a long time ago was I didn't really know a lot of other people in the space. So I kind of was a lone ranger and I learned the hard way, <clears throat> excuse me. And so now I pay for other people. I pay for masterminds, right? If we're going to continue to grow, we need to continue to learn. And there's a, a proverb that says something like, um, in a multitude of counselors, there is safety, right? Yeah. And so I love to be able to say, hey, you want apartments? I can help you with that. You want single families? Go to Michael. Like he's the king of that. You want to hear from someone else? You're tired of hearing from me? Go <laughs> listen to Michael. He's an expert. He's been doing this for 30 years, right? We're very like-minded. So, mm-hmm. you know, get in a couple of masterminds, do a couple of courses. Um, you know, you, you need to be constantly learning or you're going backwards. So I'm excited to see what you're going to do. I'm excited to promote it and definitely um, excited to be a little teeny part of it. <laughs> you're a huge part of it. The expert <laughs> series on my entire YouTube channel does not exist without you. So thank, thank you, you for that. All right. You're welcome.